in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. The Bible says, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. In Isaiah chapter 65, verse 21 to 23. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 21 to 23. Listen carefully. The Bible says, And they shall build houses and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruits of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. 23. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their hope springs with them. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, by the grace of God, I break the cause of not eating the fruit of my labor in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I break the cause of not eating the fruit of my labor in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today's topic is very, very important. And what is our topic today? Our topic is 10 signs of not able to complete house building. 10 signs of not able to complete house building or 10 signs a person will not complete house building. Brethren across the world, many people are dying. Brethren across the world, many people today are supposed to be a house owner. But unfortunately, the devil has made them to be a tenant. A lot of people these days have the money to commence their house projects. But by the time they start or they start investing in that properties, they will begin to experience one spiritual attacks or the other. So we suddenly discover they keep seeing their money going down day after day. In some families, any person in that family that tries to build a house or buy a land or start to do anything on the land will surely receive an attack of illness or either an attack of death, an attack of madness, blockage, bad news. In Africa, any dubious things can happen. A lot of people have money to build, but because of bad experiences or misfortune that befell some people, they failed not, not to build or not to invest in their property. They reserve their money or use it for something else. Today, we are going to share to you the 10 signs of why people are not able to complete their house building. What are the reasons? Is it spiritual? Is it ordinary? Is it physical? What are the 10 reasons? why people are unable to finish or to start that house project. Number one, seeing snake in your building. Seeing snake in your house building. As a child of God, anytime you are seeing snake in your house building, whether in the dream or in the reality, you are just seeing snake crawling in any of the house, any of the rooms, or in that land, know that the enemy is firing attack against you, firing arrow against you, fire Finding arrow of thou shall not complete that project. It is red signal that the enemy is fighting against that project. You need to rise up as a child of God and begin to pray against them. Because if you are seeing snake crawling in that house building, the enemy is around to make that project very, very slow. You need to call a prophet of God. You need to call a prophet of God to help you cast out that demons around that environment. Number two, fighting with someone in the dream. When you are fighting with someone in the dream, show that, that you're, you, you will not be able to complete that house building. You are fighting with somebody. You're, somebody is always you know, wrestling with you in that dream. Know that you will find it very hard to finish that project because you are, you are in a spiritual battle with the enemy. So when you are fighting with someone in the dream, that project will be very slow. You will not be able to accomplish or you will not be able to complete that project as a result of those powers. They could be power from your father's house, power from your mother's house. They could be around your environment. They are, they are fighting you. They are wrestling with you so that you, will not, you won't be able to start that project or complete that project. I pray for you today. Every power determined to destroy you. I pray the Lord Almighty will destroy them in Jesus' name. Number three, you are having foundational problems. When you are having foundational problems, 
building a house or starting a house project will be very, very difficult. Foundational problems, we are talking about evil pattern. Foundational problems, we are talking about causes. We are talking about covenant. We are talking about dedication. What happened to somebody in the family is happening to you. They are foundational problems. When you are having foundational problem, if there are history in your family, then anybody that tries to build a house or try to hold a land, something bad will happen to them. It is foundational problems. You need to deal with it so that the powers that cut short people at the prime of their celebration will not see you in Jesus' name. Number four, someone buried something in your sight. Someone buried something in your sight. They could bury the fowl. They could bury anything. You just saw someone burying something in your sight. It could be in the dream. It could be in the reality or in a trance. You just saw somebody bury something. Maybe you are trying to get a land, but the Lord is you know, revealing to you that something has been buried in that land. Any investment you are going to make on that project will not prosper, will not be fruitful because there's a power in that ground that is going to work against your plans, that is going to work against your project, that is going to work against that house building. So you need to pray, sprinkle the blood of Jesus, the anointing of God upon that land and begin to decree that anything God has not planted in this land should be uprooted out. So when you are seeing something being buried in that site, whatever you are going to do there will not work out well according to your plan. You need to pray so that God can uproot anything that may want to walk or stand against your house in the future. Number five, you are seeing bears on your land or house. You are seeing bed on your land or house. You are seeing bed on your land or house. When you are seeing bed flying on your land, on your building or house, know that that project will be very difficult to be accomplished. These bears are not just ordinary bears. They are witchcraft bears. Once you see them on that site, know that you will always have difficulties. Somebody may have bad news, bad news in your place of work. You discover that the money that is flowing will not be able to flow again. There are principalities, there are power, there are people that have determined, that have vowed that you will never, never build a house, that you will never, never own a house. These are the representation of those bad spirits. You need to call upon the name of the Lord and say, Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered. As you pray that prayer point, the Lord will chase your enemies in Jesus' name. Number six, you are experiencing serious financial attacks. You are experiencing serious financial attack. The reason why many people are unable to finish their house project or able to complete it is because of financial attack. You are about to start a project, you are expressing financial attack. This is not ordinary. There are powers. There are powers that are saying, no, you cannot build a house. You cannot own a house. That's the reason why they are fighting your finances, fighting your finances, fighting your finances. I, I bet you, the moment you set that land, your financial state will come back again. It's, as it is, it's a cost. It's a covenant. The moment you say, okay, I'm not, inter I'm, I'm not interested in that house building, you, 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 you will agree with me that your finances will come back again. Know that there are monetary spirits that are working against your plans in life. They are using different means to make sure that you do not complete that project. I pray for you today. Every power assigned to attack your financial life that power shall be wasted in Jesus' name. Number seven, someone is claiming the ownership of your land. Someone is claiming the ownership of your land. Yes, you have gotten a land. You are building a house from the foundation and you are getting to the roofing. All of a sudden, somebody came and said that he or she is the owner of the land. Then at that point in time, you'll be disappointed. At that point in time, you'll be frustrated. At that point in time, you'll be depressed. At that point in time, you will not be able to have that, that zeal, you know, to continue that project. That there's an issue somewhere, you no know, courts and all that, things like that. So when you are having this kind of signs, know that the enemy is planning an accusation against you at the edge of your testimony. Someone is claiming the ownership of your land. You are about to start a land. You are about to build a house. You come all of a sudden, somebody come from nowhere and say he's the owner of the land. You no, know, that plans you have on that land will be thwarted, will be destroyed because there's a case 
going on against that land. So you, need, you need to pray that God, every power, power in my father's house, power in my mother's house, that keep bringing issues upon issues in order to tie me down in life. Let that power be wasted in Jesus' name. Number eight, you are always afraid anytime you go to your site. You are always afraid anytime you go to your site. Now you are going to your site. Instead of you to be rejoicing, instead of you to be happy, you are always afraid. You are always afraid. You are always afraid. As if there are hammies there, as if there are policemen there, or as if there are armed robbers there, you are always afraid. Then at that point in time, don't start any project. Don't start building any house. Go down on your knee or ask your pastor to pray for you. Something is wrong in that environment. Something is wrong in that environment. The moment you are afraid, anytime you go to your site, something is wrong. Don't commit or don't tie your resources in that area. Ask God to give you go ahead. Because if you go and be investing your money, the enemy will be swallowing your prosperity, swallowing them, all of a sudden you will discover even the house that you are building, everything will be collapsed. I pray for you today. Every power that wants you to walk in vain, I command that power to die. That spirit of fear that is tormenting your life, I command it to cease in Jesus' name. Number nine, you are having problems with your works. You are having problems at work. You are having problem at work. Problem at work. In your place of work, you are having problem. Instead of you to be promoted, you are demoted. Instead of you to be going forward, you are, you are stagnated. You are having problem when you are building your own house. When you are building, you know, when you are trying to build your own, you know, structure. That is the time you are having problem in your place of work. This is not ordinary. It is the plan of the enemy, you know, to waste you. It is the plan of the enemy for you not to achieve anything in life. You are not having problems before you get that land. But why is it that anytime you are about to commit your resources in that land, you are having problem in your place of work? This is not ordinary. Go down on your knee, go on seven days fasting and prayers and begin to pray that God, this land, by the grace of God, this house, I must build it and it shall be yours in Jesus' name. Number 10, you are not progressing anymore. You are not progressing anymore. As a child of God, you are not progressing. The moment you start building that house, the moment you bought that land, you are not progressing anymore. At least, if somebody buys a land, if somebody is building a house, that is a step of progress. But you discover that everything is not going forward in your life. In your marriage, no progress. In your career, no progress. It's as if the, 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 the project that you are doing is like a curse unto you. Before you know it, many people will start selling that project. They will feel that it is not God's agenda to build that to start that um, that investment so if you are not progressing anymore know that the enemy is working against your destiny you are going to pray say every power that is timing down in one spot in life let that power die let that power die let that power die in jesus name we pray amen instruction and back on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m to 6 p.m if you have a site you can pour anointing oil in that site Read Zechariah chapter 4 verse 9 on that land and declare that as you have started your project, you will surely, surely finish it up in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, foundational powers pursuing after my destiny die by fire in the name of Jesus. Foundational powers pursuing after my destiny die by fire in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Say, spirit of profitless hard work. My life is not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirit of profitless hard work. My life is not your candidate. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, I declare that anything I start, I will finish it in the name of Jesus. I declare that anything I start, I will finish it in Jesus' name. Receive the grace to finish whatever you have started in Jesus' name. If you are currently building a house, Receive that grace to finish it up to the roof level. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I decree into your life, you shall eat the fruit of your labor. In Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.